Okay, welcome back here at the Tech Talk Studio, the NCSC conference. We're standing here with two gentlemen, Marijn Schuurbeers, team leader at Team Heiter Crime of the Dutch Police, and yeah. Oudewijk van Zwieter, the public prosecutor on cyber crime. Uh, we're going to talk about a project you're currently working on, but first of all, uh, we're almost at the end of the first day of the conference. What were your experiences today, Marijn? Well, like each year, it's, it's really, a, really a fantastic, uh, fantastic conference. It, it, it's, I think, the strength is that this has a, a, a good uh, combination of technical uh, tracks, uh, IT security in general, uh, governance tracks. So, so the combination, also the mixture of people, uh, well, that may, really makes it interesting for me. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, really great. Lodewijk, what what's your experience of today? I totally agree with uh, Marijn. This is. Uh, this is obviously a landmark uh, conference that takes place every year with uh, so many people from all over the world. So it's not only very good to, uh, to, 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 uh, to maintain your network at these, uh, at, these, at these meetings, but also look for strategic partners for, uh, for cases, for projects that we're working on. And, uh, and obviously to, uh, uh, to obtain a lot of knowledge about things that we're uh, uh, not fully aware of perhaps. Yeah. It's an international conference. We see Danish, American, French people walking all about. What are their opinions about cybersecurity in the Netherlands? Um, well, their opinion, uh, uh, there, there's a general opinion, and it's actually true that the, the Netherlands is really a transit country in uh, the, uh, the world of IP. So uh, if you look on a, on a world map, the Netherlands is really uh, hosting a lot of data and trans uh, transmitting a lot of data. And Amsterdam Internet Exchange is still the biggest in the world, right? Exactly, one of them, yeah, it, it's really one of the biggest. And uh, that attracts a lot of good traffic, but unfortunately that tra attracts also a lot of bad traffic, bad, da bad data which is hosted in the Netherlands or traveling through the Netherlands. Yeah. Yeah. And as a public prosecutor and team leader, Team Hide the Crime, you're now currently working on a project on, can I say, bad hosting? Oh. Yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> So many of the threats that we encounter now uh, coming, uh, coming over the internet uh, are because of what Marijn explained earlier, are, um, are um, hosted from servers in the Netherlands or services okay. in the Netherlands. Uh, this might be without the knowledge of the, uh, of the companies that offer those hosting services, but it may very well be that in some cases those hosting companies uh, uh, let these criminal behaviors um, uh, just take place or perhaps are even actively involved in that. Now, because this is, a, because this is such a big problem, we, uh, uh, we are looking for new means of cooperation with public partners, with private partners, to see how we can tackle this problem of bad hosting. So, what do you mean by bad hosting? Uh, do they have bad content, uh, bad services? It's not well, secure? What? Ba bad hosting can uh, be a number of things. It can, it can either be uh, child pornography, or it can be uh, that we host malware, or uh, drop zones for, uh, for, for, for malware. So it, it can be a variety of things. Uh, and many of them, unfortunately, are at Dutch providers. Some of them uh, don't know about it, uh, others might, we don't know, but uh, the, the, the thing is that we want to have uh, the Netherlands cleaned of those things. So we really, as a, as a hosting country, basically, we take our responsibility not to uh, uh, only to have a good economy on data, basically, mm -hmm. but also take our responsibility for that data. Yeah. Now, uh, yes. And we're trying to do that to, uh, in, in a coalition of uh, private and public partners. Yeah. Um, we feel that this is such a big problem that uh, a lot of parties may have an interest in actively tackling the problem of bad hosting. So what we're doing currently is, uh, is uh, in a cooperation with the uh, Technical University of Delft. We're uh, trying to establish how, how big the problem is in the Netherlands. We're actively trying to quantize that problem. Yes. And once we have that and the results of that we're, we're expecting within a couple of weeks, once we have that, we, we want to sit down with a lot of uh, private and public partners to see how we, as a coalition, can solve this problem in a way that, um, that uh, both the hosting industry uh, is more aware of the, uh, of the badness that may be in their network, but also criminals obviously um, might find it more difficult to, uh, uh, to, to, to go to a hosting company and ask for their services knowing that those hosting companies might be very well aware of criminal activities. Oh, yeah. Still, you're talking about the geographic boundaries of the Netherlands. Uh, you're talking about Dutch hosters, but what if the data centers are located elsewhere? What if mm -hmm. it's a cloud and you don't know where that exactly is? Mm -hmm. uh, where do you locate where the badness can be tackled? 
Yeah, of, of course, in a, in, a, in a worldwide internet, you cannot uh, get the world clean. Every, every country has to take responsibility for its own uh, uh, data. And in many occasions, you can really pinpoint where it is. So when we can pinpoint that it's in the Netherlands and we know at which provider it is, uh, we want to do something about it. And we want to uh, uh, get the, the providers uh, themselves involved as well, of course, because we, we want mm. to have all Dutch providers have an attitude that uh, together we don't want this dirty data, get that data across the border, although it can still be accessed by the Netherlands, of course. But if each country takes its responsibility in getting their country clean, that's why the project is also call, called Nederlands Schoon, uh, Nederland Schoon, which is called the Netherlands Clean. Okay, okay when, we, uh, when we get this, can get this up there, that would really be great. Well, and the, the first aim of the project is to see if we can get this coalition uh, effective uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, perhaps at a later date, like Marijn said earlier, uh, if we've established a blueprint for the best possible public-private partnership uh, to, to tackle these problems, we can, we can, we can go abroad and uh, get, get our international colleagues on board. Now, obviously, a lot of them are already here at the conference, as are uh, some, major, okay. some major Dutch parties, obviously. And apart from enjoying this conference, we're also uh, on the lookout for prospective partners that are willing to help us with this, uh, with this project, which we're uh, aiming to, uh, uh, to kick off um, in a matter of weeks, and we hope to, uh, to, to have the coalition actually uh, starting work later this year. Exactly. Yeah. So, so if there are any private partners out there who have good ideas, who, who uh, help to clean up uh, the Netherlands, mm -hmm. uh, make sure to give us a call and uh, get them on board because uh, we certainly want, don't want to do this alone. We want it together with the private community. Yeah. And the hosting providers themselves, how they can help you out or do they only need of to course. fear you? <laughs> no, no, no. They can really help out. Unless, of course, uh, uh, they are doing deliberate th things deliberately, and if, if, if they would, they are aware of that, well, then they have a problem with us, of course. But uh, at first, we go out of the, the good intentions, and uh, we uh -huh. hope to get them on board. Yeah. It's a project. Uh, you, you just started? Yes. When will it f be finished, or will it never be finished? Well, we're, we're, we are starting the project uh, for a limited time at the moment. Uh, I think we're looking at, like, three or six months that we're running this project, seeing what works and what does not work. And at the end of that period, obviously we're going to evaluate and see if there's any merits in continuing this program uh, mm -hmm. on a long-term basis. But for now, because it's, uh, because it's new, because we, uh, we intend to have some parties on board that, that may be new in working with police, working with the public prosecution service, uh, we don't want to hold them to a, to a long-term commitment but uh, 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 perhaps it's easier for them to join us if we, if we, if we just uh, limit this in, uh, in time for yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, about the legal boundaries, uh, well, you, you're most known about that. Uh, within the Netherlands, can you do what you want or do we still need new legislation in order to tackle this? Well, we, um, I think that uh, from a police and uh, public prosecution perspective, um, we shouldn't be too unhappy with the uh, with the with the legal framework here in the Netherlands. I think we have uh, we have an, we have a we have a, uh, a criminal investigation friendly legal um, a legal framework here. But when you're working in a coalition with so many other parties, be it regulators, be it ISPs, being the hosting branch, be it whatnot, um, those parties bring bring their own authorities to the table, their own capacities to the table. So. We're looking at a coalition in which each party is willing to do what is within their power to, uh, to, uh, to attribute to the success of this, of this project. And obviously, they are bound to their own legal um, system, to their own legal mm -hmm. framework. But I think that if we, if, we, if we take so many parties on board, you have much more possibilities than just tackling this problem for a, yeah. from a criminal investigation yeah. perspective. And, and that this actually meets up with uh, the, the general theme of this whole uh, Congress, because it's smart coalitions, and that's exactly what we are looking for. Smart yeah. coalitions using each other's uh, things in order to get our common, yes. to achieve our common goal. So that's okay. basically it. So when will your project be a success? <laughs> the project will at least be a success if we have created uh, more awareness, not only in the hosting branch, but also with the parties that are experiencing the consequences of bad hosting, so that they may be more aware of what's out there and what the possibilities are to counter that problem. Obviously, the ultimate success will be if we can actually see a drop in, uh, in badness from, uh, from, from Dutch hosting. 
Yes, but the awareness already will be good. So uh, as well the awareness at the providers themselves or at the companies that host data at those providers. Because if they know uh, uh, the provider A uh, hosts more badness than provider B, then that might give you a thought, okay, do I want to host my data at a data center which hosts a lot of badness? Mm -hmm. So that's really a thing you can think about. So that's are all things, if that common awareness on all parties is there, then it will be a success. If okay. I, if, uh, if you Looking forward me. to the results. Um, Thank you very much for the openness. It's quite new project, so yep. it's quite techy to be open about this right now. Yep. Uh, that's what Tech Talk Studio is about, that from this conference you can broadcast your opinion to the rest of the world. Yep. Is there anything else you would like to say uh, for people now watching? Well, uh, well, if you have any good ideas, just give us a call because uh, I'm certainly in the position that I'm not, uh, uh, I, I'm not that intelligent that I can rule the world or everything. We need you guys. Let's okay. get ourselves a smart coalition. For great awesome. ideas, call the cops. Yep. <laughs> okay. Your final words. Well, today. it's it's. I think this is this is not really a new method of operating for us, but we're trying to bring this new method of operating uh, into the limelight. Uh, I think that from now on, any major investigation that we're going to take on uh, will very likely include other private and public parties, so that we can maximize the effect of the interventions that actually matter to tackle these problems. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much. You have okay. a great conference tomorrow too. Marijn Schuurbeers, Lodewijk Visite. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you.